I'm Michael Purdy. You're here with us at worldppg.com. And uh, joining us right now is uh, Paul Nation, who is the European distributor for Paratoys. Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks, Mike. How are you going? Oh, great. Good to see you. Um, uh, Paul's background is uh, he works with some very large flying machines. Um, you actually work in the world of Boeing and those things, and you create, refurbish um, large airliners to be freighters. Is that correct? Yeah, that, yeah that's right. We take uh, passenger airplanes, 747s or Airbus A300 type airplanes, typically wide body aircraft. Uh, we then convert them by taking out all the passenger equipment and then resell them as freighter airplanes. Yeah, it's an uh, interesting business and logical uh, logical background to uh, be the European distributor of power and paragliding line. But uh, it's the other end of the spectrum, obviously. But uh, you've been around the sport for a while, and I, you know, I spent a little time with you uh, a couple of occasions, but most recently at the Paratoys event, and I was really struck by your knowledge and your great attitude about this whole thing. So Yeah, I think we're quite enthusiastic, both myself and Michael, um, uh, particularly about the paramotors and paratoys. Right. So you've got, what are you doing? You've got a, a, a full range of stuff that you, that you sell from the U.K. and you're selling all over Europe. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. One, one of the challenges we had last year was trying to distribute from the United States, particularly into Europe, where you have shipping issues and you have uh, sometimes uh, uh, the duties and the taxes. So what we've done actually is put out a warehouse in the U.K., so now what we can do is get a volume of scale by shipping equipment from the United States across the U.K., and then we can site retail on a one-by-one -one basis. It gets products right. to the market quicker and also at a lower cost. Huh. Well, you might even later be able to get them straight from the manufacturers in various parts of the world as well, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And um, so I understand that you're doing pretty well, that you're, you're selling lots of stuff. Yeah, we're just really starting the, the, the season in Europe, uh, typically – uh, January, February is fairly slow, and then we look at April, May, June to pick up, and hopefully by July we've got a couple of flyings, a couple of contests out in Italy, France, Germany, and of course the UK nationals this year as well. Right. So it's, uh, and in the UK obviously weather's an issue. I mean, it rains a lot there. <laughs> Everybody knows that. So you got to really, when it's, when it's sunny, you, you got to fly, huh? Yeah, you, you notice most of, most of PBG flyers in the UK have always got one head out the window, whether it's the weekday or the weekend, just looking for the good weather. Right. Oh, I like the uh, the little image that Brian's created there. The uh, do you see it? <laughs> the, the Union Jack. How long does that take him? <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's an amazing guy. Um, all right. So let's you know one of the things that I'm really excited about. You know, when we had the old powered paragliding show, we would do it on a Wednesday or Thursday night, and uh, it would be three in the morning in the UK, and uh, so it, it kind of cut down on on our uh, European scope, but. I'm hopeful that you can kind of be our lead person on all things powered paragliding in Europe and the UK. Um, is, is, can we do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've you got to remember, I'm not the only guy who flies paramotors. You, we've got some great pilots and some sure. great champions of the sport. Yeah, and what I'm hopeful that we can uh, work with you to book some of these people on and uh, and you know and and really have a much more worldwide scope of our of our little. Um, show here and you know we've also instead of making it just a show that you listen to now it's more of a uh, kind of a podcast uh, blog kind of thing where we're adding content all the time so what's it like in Europe we hear about a lot of uh, regulation issues and and things like that how is the sport doing power paragliding in Europe okay we, we tend to have a lot of local flying okay it is weather dependent uh, but there's lots of little clubs um, perhaps five or six people flying together in different regions we also have uh, nationals for each country, so the nationals in uh, the UK, nationals in France, nationals in Germany, and of course other world championships that uh, most countries try and, uh, try and play to. How many, what percentage of the pilots actually participate or, or at least go and watch those things? They're pretty popular? Yeah, uh, particularly on a national, si a national size, uh, um, there's probably about 40 or 50 pilots who compete. And then the top five places perhaps go towards uh, a U.K. team or a France team or a Germany team to compete in the World Championships. Right. How, and you get a good turnout of pilots to go to check it out and support? Yeah, you get the, you get the weekend flyer who just uh, flies to participate and not really expecting to be placed. You have the competition pilots looking for places, looking for those top five or six places. And, of course, you have the, the spectators as well. All right. Um, what else am I going to ask you? What... Um, 
So what about regulation? I mean, in the United States, we're kind of lucky that we have at least heretofore escaped, you know, the FAA regulations as far as real hands-on supervision. What, what's it like in the, in the U.K.? Okay, every country has its difference, but in the UK we are deregulated for foot launch, so we can fly foot launch much the same as you can in the States. Uh, we do have regulations for uh, quad or trike flying, and we do have regulations for tandem flying as well. And are those similar to what we have in the United States? Yeah, similar to a sports pilot license here when we have our PPLs or sport licenses in the States. Uh, in the UK we have something fairly similar. Uh, so it follows a, a, uh, almost like a microlight or ultralight licensing. Right. And then Europe, of, it's not just the European common market. I mean, is it, it's different from, from country to country? Yes, we're all called Europe, but within Europe we have different countries and different regulations. Right. And so some of the, I mean, is it, is it similar, though, or is it unregulated in most of the countries, or it's just hit and miss, always different? I kind of think it's a little hit and miss. There is also environmental issues as well, particularly on noise. I think in Germany it's very sensitive on environmental, uh, so we have certain regulations there on noise. Right. Okay. Where do you think our sport's going? I mean, it, in the United States, there's the, the popularity of quads is, uh, has been amazing, and as we all get older, we might, we're all going to end up there probably, but... Um, is the sport growing in Europe, and is it growing the same way that it is here with, with quads? Yeah, I think people aspire to the quads, um, but the, the challenge there is, particularly on the licensing, um, people do need to go and get their licenses uh, before they can fly the quads or the trikes. So even though there's a lot of interest in quads and trikes, um, it's not growing quite as fast as in the United States, where you can go out, get your training, and fly straight away. There are regulations and, uh, and licenses required. Okay. All right. We've got about a minute and some change left. Uh, any parting thoughts? Or and also, I want you to give out your contact information. Um, nothing in particular. I mean, uh, we are pushing hard on the Paratoys. We're trying to get for that second or third time user now, both with the products uh, and the wing and the engines. Uh, so that's what might do a really good job on. Yeah, great. How do people find you? Uh, people can find me uh, by email um, at uh, info at paratoys.co.uk or they get me my cell phone. I tend to travel worldwide every week, but I've got an English cell phone shooter turned on, which is country code 44 770 Great. Paul Nation, European distributor of Paratoys, thanks for joining us. Um, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, thanks, Michael.